Hey everyone, how you doing? Jeff here. Hey, um, in this live video, what I want to do is I want to actually really talk with you about essential things for you to do in the next uh, week or so to really transform your mindset and your life. And I'm actually going to play a little game here with you guys since it's Friday and I've been drinking. No, I have not been drinking. Uh, hello, Steve, how you doing? Hey, um, here we go. So I want to, I want you to grab a piece of paper. If you've got a piece of paper right in front of you, and I want you to draw on it two triangles. Can you draw two triangles on that piece of paper or draw one triangle on two separate pieces of paper? There you go. Can you do that? Do that. All right, good, 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 good. Now on the first triangle, we're going to call this the fair paradigm. Okay, so you can write fair paradigm and numbers one, two, and three, because unless you understand what's happening in your mind right now, you won't be able to really grow your business because there's a lot of fear around. And so what I want you to do is I want you to understand where the fear comes from, right? And so the first reason that you are afraid, but also the things that you're feeling right now are exactly the same things that your clients, your leads, your prospective clients are feeling also. So this exercise is going to help you to understand them, which is important. Because if you're going to market well right now and grow your business and help a bunch of people and make a massive impact, then you must understand the conversation that's happening in their heads already. That's good marketing. Inserting your words, your knowledge, your help, your service into uh, the conversation that's already happening in their heads. So, number one here. The number one part of fear right now is uncertainty. Who can tell me exactly when the country will be opening up again? Anybody? No. You don't know when you're going to be able to escape from your house. I don't even know when I'm going to be allowed out of the bedroom and my family work in our bedroom here so the kids can have the run of the house, right? There's so much uncertainty. You don't know what's going to happen to the market. You don't know uh, whether you're going to get pay pay paycheck protection. There's a lot of uncertainty and that's really affecting the way people think. So we're dealing with the bad news first and I apologize for that, but we have to be grounded in the reality of what's happening. The second thing, the second thing that you, I want you to put in your fair paradigm here, draw it out. If you're watching on live, you can pause it if you can't draw fast enough, is bad news. One of the reasons we're afraid right now is there is so much bad news. So many graphs that are not coming down. So many um, people that we know who are getting infected with the virus, which is terrible. Some of them have even passed, which is just heartbreaking. Um, there is... Um, bad news around the market, there's all sorts of bad news that can and can and may not be happening and you might be seeing too much of it. And when we sit in a lot of bad news, guess what? We become paralyzed and we become kind of afraid. So that's the second thing. So number one, uncertainty. Number two, bad news. And then the third part of the fear paradigm is victimhood. Victimhood right there. Now there's a reason why <laughs> you and I um, feel like we're victims. We didn't do anything wrong. None of us had, as I like to say, when I sat down on January 1st, I was excited and I got my vision board with all my magazine cutouts. If I did that, which I didn't, but I'm pretending I did. And I, I didn't put, I didn't put a big picture of a global pandemic on my vision board. I didn't see it coming. I didn't want it to happen. Neither did you. Nobody wanted any of this. And yet it's happened to us. It's it's bullied us. This little virus has pushed us and transformed our lives rightly uh, because we don't want anyone to get sick, right? But it's bullied us. And so it's really easy for us to feel like we've been victimized. We can't do the kind of business that we used to do. We can't live the kinds of lives that we used to live. And so we're sitting right now, we can be sitting in different elements and in different proportions for each of us uh, with uncertainty, with bad news surrounding us and feeling a little emasculated or unable to live fully and to be fully capable in our businesses. Some things have changed. A lot has changed. But the one thing that you can change today, if you're watching this live, is you can change your mindset. And so what I want you to do is I want you to tear up this fear paradigm. I want you to tear it up. I want you to throw it away. Instead, what I want you to do, dramatic, I know, I'm like Lady Gaga. Hey, what I want you to do instead is I want you to take that other triangle, and this is your success paradigm. And this is what I want you to grab a hold of today. I want you 
to replace confident, replace uncertainty, which was at the bottom of your fear paradigm, with confidence. Confidence comes from having a plan. Confidence comes from knowing I know exactly how people are feeling and thinking and I'm going to help them in this particular way and it's going to help me thrive. And so one of the things I'm going to tell you about at the end of this uh, video, at the end of this teaching, when I'm finished getting you to play the triangle, is I am going to ask you to join us in a training we have so that you have a plan because if you don't have a plan you are gonna not thrive you might just survive the second thing I want you to put down in your triangle right here is instead of immersing yourself in bad news I want you to start creating good news I know that Mary in our group and in our training for example was out yesterday delivering groceries to old people in her neighborhood like who couldn't get them. That's good news for those people, right? That's great news for us as a group and as a society and as a lot of people that people are still being really good. But I want you to be creating good news in a way that it looks for you. Don't do what she did, do what's right for you. But there is uh, so much creativity that can be unlocked inside of you, so many solutions that can be created when we work together and we identify clearly the challenges, the problems, the dangers that people in our community are facing, that our clients have, and we start to create solutions for them. We start to make a massive impact in their lives. We start to change their world as they're stuck in their house, as they feel like everything is impossible. We start to show them that their dreams and what they really want from life are in fact still possible. The third point, the third thing in our success Paradigm, I'm making a real mess here in the bedroom. I'm going to have to clean it up before I'm allowed out. <laughs> the third thing is this. Instead of being a victim, I want you to be a leader. When you are confident, when you have a plan, when you're creating good news, you're actually being a leader. And that, my friends, if you can do these three things right now, if we can get you into that mindset, give you a strategy, give you a plan, make you a leader, you're going to massively increase your market share. You're going to create large numbers of referral partners right now, a lot of loyalty from people who remember back to that time in their life when they were stuck in their home, when they were afraid, when they were uncertain, when they were surrounded by bad news, they're going to remember you because you were the person that created good news that led them out of where they are. And that's what I want for you guys. I want you to be creating good news to make our world better because you're going to create large numbers of referral partners partners, you're going to transform your own business and you're going to increase the share of the market that you have because while everyone else has been afraid and been a victim, you are being the leader and that's what you can do. However, very difficult, very difficult, very difficult to do it alone, very difficult. So what I want you to do is I want you to join us. We already have uh, 13 or 14 people starting a hyper virtual pivot program where we're going to take our businesses and we're going to look at how we can transform our communities and our businesses from our living rooms, from our bedrooms and things like that. So if you want to know inf information on that, I'd love to have you join us. Please put virtual in the comments. It is going off and I want to make our world better and I want to help you and I want to help as many people as possible. So thank you for being on the live with me today. I love you guys a lot. Um, thank you for being part of our group. Have an incredible weekend. Love the people that you are close to. Love your clients and your community. Use technology in a relational way to make people's lives better right now. And join us. Put virtual in the comments. I'll get you the information. We'll figure out if it's right for you. Love you so much. Have an incredible weekend. And I will say now, goodbye.